outstanding in the field. And I like the literalness of it. I think I like the part about just standing out there. The geometry is slightly chaotic of a small community garden like this. Well, some sites call for a curved table, some for a straight table. A little bit this way, on that end. Uh, one centimeter more. I definitely get lost in the composition and the staff sort of, they're like, Jim, you know, get this done. In 96, I'm working at uh, Gabriella Cafe in Santa Cruz. Um, I'm surfing during the days. I was a little burnt out from being a chef and I was thinking that it might be interesting to uh, think of something different. I was walking along the beach one day and I just thought to myself if I could make a mark in the sand. I just wanted to see what it look, would look like with the light in a certain way in the evening. So I did drawings all, all over the beach, everywhere. I took a couple months off and I worked on a vegetable garden, growing 15 or 20 different kinds of vegetables. I organized a series of dinners which were farmer dinners and the entire menu would be organized around one farm. And every tomato you ate today, was, was grown right here. The first dinner on the farm back in uh, 1999, after a, after a series of dinners in the restaurant, and uh, we managed to get 60 people out there. I think we only had about 26 paid customers. Today we're out in uh, East Hampton at Eco Farm, and there's about 100 plots here, community garden plots. At each table we'll have uh, an entire whole fluke, which, um, We've never had a whole fish like that before. We have um, a winemaker from Channing Daughters, which the vineyard is, um, I'm trying to get my bearings. Um, I think it's over in that direction. We asked our guests to bring their own plate from home. That's their contribution to the community of the table. The table is a, is a magnet for stories and for an experience of a particular time. The surfers are interested in those changes that take place um, day to day, sharing the day and you know, the challenges of that particular break. And the artwork is similar to that. The composition exists on a specific day with specific weather. I'm at Lucerne Dry Lake in the Mojave Desert of California, and I'm very, very tired. You okay? Hard day's work. Yeah, I like that, you get your own circle. Looks nice. I'm starting off from here. That's the center. I'm gonna walk around the same circle just to get back into the swing of it. I had this one since 2006. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty tough stick. It's from a beach in Southern California. It's definitely meditative, but there's a bit of uh, active cal calculation and considering distances and curves. There's supposedly circles here. They're, they're perfect ish. Feels good to, to walk for several hours and then have some water. With Google Earth, people all over the world will be making graffiti artwork. Bluefish, Bluefish excavation. To have 150 strangers come out to a farm to share the table together, they're likely to have um, connection. And the fact that, uh, that I'm putting it together it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm.